Hey YouTube, this next deck profile I'm going to be doing is my uh, Gusto deck. Gustos are my favorite one. I wasn't sure if they actually survived in terms of the story in Dual Terminal. I don't know if they're supposed to be around or not. But I built them anyway because they got new cards from Hidden Arsenal 7. So like I said, they're my favorite one. So I put a lot of thought into this one. Tried to change them up based on the cards that they got in Hidden Arsenal 7. So to start off, 2... Cam, Serenity of Gusto, you only need to, um, it's, it's not a, it's not a good card to have in your opening hand, you kind of want to get it on the field later on, as your opponent tries to go on the offensive, or on the offense, so just two Cam, Serenity of Gusto, it recycles and it draws, and, and then next, we go with the wall, the invincible wall, that, er, that anyone who's ever played against a Gusto deck knows about, how annoying this wall is, three Winda, Three Goldo and three Eagle. It's like a soccer human wall or bird wall or whatever. Um, it's just it's like a it's a good loop with the three with the nine cards. And then the the new card they got at first when I saw this I thought it was kind of useless, but I took on the challenge of trying to build a deck around the new Gusto Griffin. This is their new card I think it finally completes the deck and it allows them a different play style uh, where they use cards in their hands and they gain an advantage similar to how fables play so I'm putting three gusto griffin griffin is the card that makes the level five monsters playable because its effect is when it's sent from the hand to, to the graveyard you can special summon one gusto monster from your deck so yeah, it lets you summon any Gusto monster, so that gets you your level 5, so I'm having to tribute some of them. That's why I wanted to build a deck around this, because it allows me to run two rays, Horbon of Gusto, far more consistently, without having to rely on uh, Serene Psychic Witch, which was, which was kind of slow, as well as Gusto Thunbolt, which was also quite slow. So I think Gusto Griffin's faster, and I'll explain why uh, in a little bit. And Gusto Griffin was also great because he allows me to finally run Windar, Sage of Gusto. I haven't been able to run this guy uh, mainly because of inconsistency issues in the past, but Gusto Griffin fixes that and allows you to run your your one-star tribute, your level five and six monsters. So those are the monsters. And then because you have so many psychics, you can run you, in the extra deck ultimate axon kickers in here. So two Miracle Synchro Fusion. It's always good if you have nothing, you can just set it, and then when they typhoon it, you get to draw a card. Two pot of duality, just to speed things up. It allows you to look and find these guys without having to worry about drawing into them, so you don't have to draw into these. And then one for one, this combos extremely well with Gusto Griffin, or if you have a dead Windar or Rays in your hand, you can just drop them. Uh, for one for one, and then one for one pulls your tuner to the field. And there's only three targets for one for one, but because of Calm and all the recycling abilities, this guy's always going to be in the deck. It should always be one in the deck. And then, again, with Gusto Griffin, to get his effect off, I ran two Lightning Vortex. That, along with one for one, these are your uh, cards that allow you to play Gusto Griffin and then get his effect just like Fabled, and then I dropped Contact with Gusto down to 1, mainly to make room for Lightning Vortex. 2 Emergency Teleport, because there's so many Psychic targets. And then 1 Monsterborn, 1 Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, and Double MST. So those are the spells. So then, for the traps, Again, because of Gusto Griffin, I wanted to make him more consistent, so I threw in one uh, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, kind of going with the whole wind theme. So he's a good target for Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. And he will not miss his timing because he's an if, not a when. And then one G Dust Storm of Gusto. This is the new trap card that they got from Hidden Arsenal 7. It's got Windar on there, so that made me want to run Windar. Uh, one's just enough. Their trap cards aren't that great. But I decided to take on the challenge of running all their trap cards. So I put in Dust Storm from Hidden Arsenal 7, 
Whirlwind of Gusto from Hidden Arsenal 6, as well as Blessings for Gusto from Hidden Arsenal 5. So one of each of their themed trap cards. Pretty decent. I mean, you don't, if you don't want to run them, just throw in like Bottomless Trap Hole or Solemn Warning or Bottomless Trap Hole. But I still have those. So I have Bottomless Trap Hole, Solemn Judgment, Mirror Force, and Terrestrial Tribute. So those are the trap cards. Uh, moving on to the extra deck. The extra deck is pretty unique. They have one Digusto Emerald. He's the new Xyz monster from Hidden Arsenal 7. One Digusto Phoenix. Just keeping in theme. And then uh, the other rank 2 would be Gachi Gachi just for defense. Once for offense, once for defense. And then I have one of the most annoying Synchro Monsters, Digustos Freeze. This card wins games. One Digusto Falcos. One Digusto Goldos. One Digusto Eagles. And those are the. So these are the Gusto uh, Synchro Monsters. And then for the non, just the generic ones. One magical android just to heal up because they tend to be suicidal. Although it doesn't matter, it's freeze. And then one LF just as Catastrophe. If you're a synchro base deck with a bunch of level 5, you're obviously going to run Catastrophe. One Thought Ruler Archfiend. He almost never shows up. One Stardust Dragon. One Scrap Dragon. One Black Rose. So the three generic high level synchro monsters. And then one Ultimate Axon Kicker because uh, lots of psychics and miracle synchro fusion so hope you guys enjoyed the deck this is probably my most unique gusto build yet uh gusto griffin really caught me by surprise i didn't expect this card to open up a whole new dimension of how to play gustos uh, as always rate comment subscribe thanks